the technique that we're going to deal with today is the technique of stewing. So what is stewing? Stewing is a moist cooking method where we're going to sear some sort of meat product and give it color, okay? Now we have a couple of basic things that we want to cover while we're doing this technique. First up, U.S. meats, which is, gives us an excellent product throughout the Caribbean. The plants and the processes which the animals go through is rigorous. Food safety is number one. When you get a cryovac or any prepared meat, beef, pork, know for a fact that you're guaranteed food safety. We want to ensure that we layer those flavors. So I recommend, irregardless of whether we're doing a marinade or a rub, we still want to be able to put a little bit of salt and black pepper on top of our protein product. Why? Again, we're going into layering. So you just basically turn it over. And ideally, you don't want to get smaller than a one inch cube because then the surface of the meat is exposed and drying takes out. When we cut our meat too small, the whole surface is exposed and a lot of moisture is lost and we end up with a dry product. Next process is we want to apply a little bit of oil so that we get that sear and your pot needs to be hot. Now, if you notice, I am not overcrowding my pot because this is a technique where we want to create and have enough surface between the pot and the meat that we get that instant browning. Remember, we're going to go through a long cooking moist product to allow flavor to be penetrated and also for the cut of meat to become tender. So all we really want to do, if you look, this is browning beautifully. And I would say that sometimes some of the older recipes would call for adding the meat directly into our liquid. I say brown it first to create that depth of flavor and also it gives a beautiful color to the beef and then you're going to place it into your meat. But remember, it's stewing, so it's a moist cooking method and it's gonna take a little time. The other thing I want to note when we are doing stewing, and in the Caribbean, another layer of, or another technique to browning would be putting a little bit of sugar in the base of our pan and kind of fast tracking that caramelization. But you're still browning the meat before putting it through that moist cooking method. So I'm gonna add back, and depending on the recipe, it will call for several different aromatics. In this case, we're using a basic mirepoix, which is equal parts of some celery, carrots and onions, a little bit of garlic, and a bouquet garni, which is basically a little bit of thyme and bay leaf tied together. I'm putting a couple of whole cloves of garlic, and I can put whole, whole cloves because, again, the method is going to be slow and low, and everything just wants to infuse into that, into those wonderful stock or whatever type of liquid that you're going to be adding to the pot. Also like to note that when we're doing this particular method, you could actually dust your meat with a little bit of corn flour or a little bit of flour and it gives a nice texture to the meat. We now cover and you could deglaze with some wine if you wanted to, but we're keeping it simple today, adding a little beef stock and gonna cover until it's tender. And there you have it.